Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to create a watercolor portrait in Affinity Photo. For this tutorial I'm going to use two different assets, this image of a woman and this white paper texture. I will add the link for both of them in the description below so that you can follow along with me. So we start here with the woman's image. So the first step is that we are going to place the white paper texture into the composition, so we go to File, Place, we select the white paper texture and we position it in the middle of the composition and then we rotate it while holding shift until we have it positioned vertically and then we scale it up while holding control until it fits the composition and then we place it underneath the woman's layer and then we select the woman's layer so the first step to creating this watercolor effect is that we are going to apply a median blur so we go here to Live Filter and we select Median Blur. What this Median Blur filter does is that it broadens the colors region. So we might say that it averages the colors and makes them a bit less distinct from each other. So this is what contributes to creating the watercolor effect. So here we grab the radius slider and I will set it to 16 pixels. So you can see the before and after of applying this Median Blur filter. So the next step now is that we are going to apply an empty mask to the image. So we go here to Mask, we right click and we select Empty Mask. And then we are going to paint on the mask with white watercolor brushes to make the woman come back. So we go here to Brushes. And here we are going to select watercolors, so it's a set of brush that is already built in in Affinity Photo. So we are going to alternate different brushes so that the stroke is not uniform. So here we select the paintbrush tool. We set the color to white, to pure white. And then we press Ctrl, Alt, the left mouse key, and we drag the mouse rightwards. until it has a size of 2000 pixels. And we are going to start with a gentle grainy brush. And then before we start painting, we go here to more. We are going to adjust the brush dynamics. Here, the rotation's jitter, we set it to around 60, 70%, so that the angles of the brush varies when we apply it. And here we are also going to increase the scatter X and Y values, also to around 60%. So the brush is not always applied in the same location. And then we can start painting on the composition. So as you can see that is starting to make the woman reappear. And then at some point we are going to change the brush. So I'm going to take this blurry wash brush and also I will set the size to around 2000 pixels. And since the brush is a bit stronger, I will decrease a bit the opacity to around 60%. And also I'm going to adjust the dynamics settings. So I'll set the rotation jitter to around 70% and also the scatter X and Y values to around 20-30%. And then I will continue to paint on the composition. And then we're going to alter the brush again. So I'll take the smooth round this time. So I'll set the size to around 2000 pixels. I will decrease the opacity a bit to around 70%. And I will also adjust the dynamics tab. So I'll set the rotation jitter to 70% and the scatter X and Y values to around 20-30%. And then I will continue painting with it. And then I will alter the brush again. So I'll take this jeaned wash brush. And the same thing, I will alter the dynamics of the brush. So the rotation jitter to around 70% the scatter X and Y values to around 25%. And 
and then I will continue painting with it. And then we'll, I will take the directional wash. I will increase the size, decrease a bit the opacity to around 80%. And also adjust the dynamics of the brush like before. And then continue painting with it. So now once we are satisfied with the painting, we are going to apply a gradient to it. While on the mask layer, we press on Ctrl Shift O to put the painted area into selection. And then we're going to add a new fill layer. So we go to layer, new fill layer. So we are using a fill layer for the gradient and not a regular pixel layer because with the fill layer, we can adjust the gradient afterwards. So we select the gradient tool. We leave the context as fill and we set the type as linear. And we set one node in the top left corner of the image and the other in the bottom right corner. And then we go here to the color menu. So we are going to set the top left color to a pink, to a light pink color, and the bottom right color to a light orange color. And now that we have the gradient, the next step is that we are going to change its blend mode to soft light. And now we press on Ctrl D to unselect. And also we can lower a bit the opacity to around 60%. To make it a bit less intense. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a watercolor portrait in Affinity Photo. Now you can go and experiment with your own pictures. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Photo tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!